So this week, we are going to be covering uh, two chapters of uh, views, which is chapter 13, and it is very short. And then we're also going to do uh, chapter nine, which is built in functions. And the built in functions, there's a lot of them. But I, once you do a couple of them, uh, they're all kind of set up in a similar fashion. <laughs> so I don't think that's going to give any of you too many problems. So you definitely uh, want to read through the chapters first, and then you're going to come in uh, to the lecture demo. And uh, we start out here with string functions, and you can see there are a lot of them. Uh, you'll notice that the examples I gave you, uh, you can actually copy and paste these into the query window and run them as is. There's also links to interactive examples. But we kind of go through all of the different character functions. Then we get into the numeric functions, the date and time functions, and so on. So you'll see there's lots of different categories of functions. And I did include a lot of examples here. And then you're going to go into your chapter nine textbook assignment. And you'll see that I put all of the video links at the top. And then you're going to go through and create several different types of functions. I think it's all pretty straightforward. There's videos that will help you just in case you uh, get stuck on anything. And I believe there is a file that you have to download in here. Maybe further down for, yeah, it's the wages. Um, so that we can actually use coalesce and is null. Uh, so you're just going to basically uh, install this in the examples database, you're just gonna create a little wages table and insert some data into it. And then you'll be able to uh, do the tasks associated with coalesce and is null. And then uh, once you're done with the textbook assignment, you are going to work on the lab assignment. Uh, a lot of students um, struggle with how to use choose, how to use case and grouping and roll up. So I did uh, include some video links uh, that you might want to watch because it will help you. And then we get into the lab assignment. So you are going to create your own queries that utilize functions. And so you'll notice for string, fun string functions, you need to come up with two. Now, I would not do anything super fancy. Okay? They can be very simple. Okay? And I think simple is good because it shows that you know how to use the function. For number functions, um, you are going to, I want you to do one query that uses RAND. And then for the second query, you can pick whatever numeric function you want. For date and time, you're going to create two queries. And then you get into case, if, and choose. You will do one of each. And then you get down here to coalesce is null. Um, and so you're going to do one query that uses the case function with grouping and roll up, and then uh, a query that uses either is null or coalesce. Okay, so that is the lab assignment. And there are plenty of examples for you to look at in the lecture demo. Uh, chapter 13, this is fairly short. It, it is on views, and a view is a database object. So it is selected or it is stored with the database. And uh, database administrators use views to control what users have access to within a database. So you're going to learn how to create a view. 
And it's very similar to doing a select. Uh, you just have create view as above your select statement. Okay, so uh, you'll go through and you'll learn about the uh, different attributes you can add, but kind of in a nutshell, <laughs> that is basically what you're doing. Creating a view, giving it a name, specifying what columns you want, uh, and you use the keyword as, and then you do a select. And if you want the same columns as the select, it is as simple as saying create view, giving it a name, as, and then you've got your regular old select here. Okay, so you're gonna go through this document, uh, look at the example so you have a better understanding of views. And then you are going to complete the textbook assignment. Whoops, wrong link. And the textbook assignment has you create a view. Actually, you create several views. And then you will uh, create or use a view that allows you to update data. Okay, and then uh, you will delete and modify the view structures. And then because a view is a database object, you'll learn a couple system catalog commands that will let you view database objects. Your final assignment is part of your final project. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna create views for your final project. You need four views. One of the views must be updatable, which means that you can use the view to update data in the table or one of your tables. Okay, the other three views can be whatever you want. So you need a total of four. One of the views has to be able to update data. You're gonna use that updatable view to modify data in at least one column of a table. And then you're gonna save the file and upload it. And I did give you an example here to look at. And I put in comments so you can see. Uh, I decided to get the updatable view <laughs> done out of the way right away. And so you can see I used it to update price. Okay, and then the other uh, views are just whatever I wanted to create views on. So that is the assignment this week. Even though it's two chapters, I don't think it's going to be too bad, uh, especially if you remember for chapter nine in the lab assignment, just keep it simple. Okay? If you keep it simple, uh, you're demonstrating that you know how to use the function. And I don't think that it'll take you all that long or you'll run into any problems when you are completing it. So if you do have questions or uh, if you do run into problems, let me know because I'm happy to help you and have a great week.